Turkey's geography stands as a marvel, situated at the crossroads of Asia and Europe, bridging these two continents much like its historical Ottoman Empire once did. Modern-day Turkey, primarily consisting of the Anatolian Peninsula, holds a significant place in history due to its unique geography. Over millennia, various empires sought control over this region due to its strategic location. The Bosphorus Strait in the north, linking the Black Sea to the Mediterranean, gave rise to Istanbul, a city coveted by many powerful empires throughout history, including the Greeks, Persians, Macedonians, Byzantines, and Ottomans. Similarly, the Dardanelles Strait served as another crucial passage to Anatolia, connecting it to the Balkans, southern Europe, and the Greek islands. Turkey's geological formations, shaped over millions of years by the collision of the Eurasian and Anatolian plates, offer a diverse landscape. The Pontic mountain range in the north, with peaks soaring up to 4,000 meters, contributes to the region's fertility. Despite this, much of Turkey, especially the southern regions bordering the Middle East, faces hot and arid conditions. The population centers, including Istanbul, Bursa, Antalya, and Ankara, thrive in the western and northern parts, benefiting from fertile lands and more favorable weather conditions. This geographical layout, resembling a triangle connecting Egypt and Mesopotamia, historically attracted great empires whose headquarters often resided within this triangle. Anatolia's strategic importance is underscored by historical events such as Alexander the Great's conquest and the Ottoman Empire's expansion. Anatolia served as a bridge between Asia and Europe with control over Istanbul and the Bosphorus Strait facilitating access to both continents. Additionally, Anatolia held significance as a crucial segment of the Silk Road through which goods traveled from Asia to Europe. The Taurus mountain range has acted as a natural barrier, providing protection to Anatolia throughout history. Notably, during the 13th century, when the Mongols ruled much of Asia and reached the borders of Anatolia, they were thwarted by the formidable Taurus mountains, which made the passage into Anatolia exceedingly difficult compared to their conquests in Europe. Presently, Turkey's eastern regions lag behind economically and infrastructurally compared to the western regions, partially due to the challenging terrain. Moreover, the Kurdish population, comprising around 15% of Turkey's total population, predominantly resides in the southeastern and eastern regions, as well as in parts of northern Syria, northern Iraq, and western Iran. The Kurds, the largest ethnic group without their own nation-state, have faced historical challenges in asserting their identity and autonomy within the region, leading to occasional tensions and conflicts. The Kurdish people have a long history of striving for recognition and self-determination spread across several countries including Turkey, Syria, Iraq, and Iran, they have faced various degrees of repression and marginalization. In Turkey, Kurdish identity and cultural expression were suppressed for decades, exacerbating tensions between the Kurdish population and the Turkish government. This conflict led to the rise of Kurdish nationalist movements seeking greater autonomy or independence. The Kurdistan Workers' Party, PKK, founded in the late 1970s, emerged as a prominent Kurdish militant group advocating for Kurdish rights and self-rule. The PKK's armed struggle against the Turkish state resulted in decades of violence and instability in southeastern Turkey. Efforts to address Kurdish grievances and integrate Kurds into mainstream Turkish society have been met with mixed success. While some progress has been made in recent years, including limited cultural rights and political reforms, deep-rooted issues remain unresolved. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications for more content like this. In neighboring Syria, Kurds constitute a significant minority, primarily concentrated in the northern regions. The Syrian civil war provided an opportunity for Kurdish groups to assert control over predominantly Kurdish areas, leading to the establishment of autonomous administrations known as Rojava. Despite facing threats from various factions, including the Syrian government and Islamist militants, Kurdish-led forces have managed to carve out a degree of self-governance in northeastern Syria. However, their aspirations for greater autonomy or independence are complicated by geopolitical dynamics and competing interests in the region. In Iraq, Kurds have enjoyed a measure of autonomy since the establishment of the Kurdistan Regional Government, KRG, following the Gulf War in 1991. The KRG has its own parliament, government, and security forces, overseeing significant oil reserves and economic development in the region. While the KRG has achieved a degree of stability and prosperity compared to other parts of Iraq, 
internal divisions, disputes over territory and resources, and tensions with the central government in Baghdad continue to pose challenges to Kurdish aspirations for independence. In Iran, Kurds also face challenges to their cultural and linguistic rights, as well as restrictions on political activism. Kurdish separatist movements, such as the Kurdistan Free Life Party, PDAK, have engaged in sporadic armed resistance against the Iranian government. Overall, the Kurdish question remains a complex and unresolved issue with implications for stability and security in the broader Middle East. Efforts to address Kurdish grievances, promote inclusive governance, and facilitate dialogue between Kurdish communities and central authorities are essential for achieving lasting peace and stability in the region. The Kurdish people, dispersed across Turkey, Syria, Iraq, and Iran, have long sought recognition and autonomy. In Turkey, Kurdish identity was suppressed for decades, leading to conflict with the PKK. In Syria, Kurds established autonomous regions amidst the civil war. In Iraq, the Kurdistan region enjoys some autonomy but faces challenges from Baghdad. In Iran, Kurdish rights are restricted, leading to sporadic resistance. Resolving the Kurdish question is vital for stability in the Middle East, requiring inclusive governance and dialogue. The Kurdish question remains a complex and sensitive issue with implications for regional stability. Efforts to address Kurdish grievances and promote inclusive governance are crucial for long-term peace and prosperity in the Middle East. International support for dialogue and reconciliation between Kurdish communities and central governments is essential to finding sustainable solutions to this long-standing issue. Is paramount for achieving lasting peace and stability in the Middle East. This entails addressing historical grievances, promoting cultural rights, and fostering inclusive governance. International cooperation and support are essential in facilitating dialogue between Kurdish communities and central governments, paving the way for a peaceful resolution to this long-standing issue. By recognizing the legitimate aspirations of the Kurdish people and working towards equitable solutions, the region can move towards a more prosperous and harmonious future. In addition to diplomatic efforts, socioeconomic development initiatives aimed at improving living conditions in Kurdish-majority areas are crucial. Investing in education, infrastructure, and job creation can help alleviate socioeconomic disparities and foster a sense of inclusion and belonging among Kurdish communities. Fostering cross-border cooperation and dialogue among Kurdish groups across different countries can contribute to regional stability and cooperation. By promoting mutual understanding and collaboration, shared challenges can be addressed more effectively, paving the way for peaceful coexistence and prosperity. Resolving the Kurdish question requires a multifaceted approach that addresses political, socioeconomic, and cultural dimensions. By engaging in constructive dialogue, respecting human rights, and promoting inclusive governance, stakeholders can work towards a more peaceful and equitable future for all inhabitants of the region. In conclusion, the Kurdish question stands as a complex and enduring challenge with significant implications for peace and stability in the Middle East. Throughout history, Kurdish communities have faced marginalization, oppression, and conflict, leading to deep-seated grievances and aspirations for self-determination. Addressing these grievances and finding a sustainable resolution to the Kurdish question requires a comprehensive approach that encompasses political, socioeconomic, and cultural dimensions. First and foremost, political solutions must be pursued through inclusive dialogue and negotiation between Kurdish representatives and central governments. Recognizing Kurdish rights, autonomy, and cultural identity within the framework of existing state structures can help build trust and foster cooperation. At the same time, efforts to address socioeconomic disparities and improve living conditions in Kurdish-majority areas are essential for promoting social cohesion and inclusivity. Furthermore, regional cooperation and diplomacy play a crucial role in addressing the Kurdish question. By engaging neighboring countries and international stakeholders in constructive dialogue, shared interests and common challenges can be addressed collaboratively. Cross-border initiatives aimed at fostering cooperation and understanding among Kurdish communities across different countries can contribute to building bridges and promoting peace. Additionally, respect for human rights and the rule of law is paramount in any effort to address the Kurdish question. Upholding fundamental rights, including freedom of expression, association, and cultural identity, is essential for creating an environment conducive to reconciliation and peaceful coexistence. 
In the pursuit of a peaceful resolution to the Kurdish question, it is imperative that all stakeholders demonstrate goodwill, flexibility, and a commitment to dialogue and compromise. By working together towards a shared vision of inclusivity, prosperity, and mutual respect, the region can overcome historical divisions and move towards a brighter and more harmonious future for all its inhabitants. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more updates. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more.